polarized political environment of the last several years has forced some corporate America leaders to speak out on issues. But as we head into the height of the 2024 race, the tone appears to be shifting. The Wall Street Journal highlighting some CEOs are drawing up plans to tell their employees not to expect any comments about political issues ahead of the November election. Now, this comes in light of Google recently firing dozens of employees for disruptive activities at its offices over the war in Gaza. And Google Chief Executive Officer CEO Sundar Pichai reminding employees in a memo that ultimately, quote, we are a workplace. For more, we want to bring, on our very, bring in our very own Rick Newman. And Rick, my question to you is just give me your sense of how business leaders are approaching the 2024 election and whether or not we should anticipate corporate America trying to sit this one out. Well, I think you have to define their level of involvement here. So what the Wall Street Journal was talking about is activities in the workplace itself. Are you going to be uh, tolerating discussions of political issues, especially some of these hot button ones? Then there are campaign donations. And I have a feeling that we're going to see a robust level of uh, campaign donations from the corporate sector this year, which we always do, honestly. Um, they do. They give to these campaigns for a couple of different reasons. One is obviously uh, whether you like or dislike the candidate. There are big differences between the policies of the candidates this year between Trump and Biden. Uh, Trump, of course, less regulation, drill, baby, drill, more fossil fuels. Biden, more emphasis on clean energy and other things we've been talking about uh, and will continue to talk about. So there's that. But um, corporations also just want to kind of play both sides in elections. Uh, we see this in donations to Congress. Often they will give to more or less equal to, equally to both parties because they want to make sure they have friends uh, in high places no matter who wins. So I think we're going to see the, the donations uh, keeping up. Um, but of course, in terms of some of these very um, hot button is political issues, I mean, these are can't win issues. Do you favor the Israelis or the Palestinians? Uh, LGBTQ, we saw Bud Light get hammered on that uh, last year. Um, it's like you just can't win by taking a stand. So they just want to be as neutral as possible. Well, I'm curious then, Rick, you mentioned the policy differences. One of the differences between Trump and Biden, of course, with taxes. We have Trump tax cuts potentially expiring at the end of 2025. What can you tell us about corporate borrowing so far this year and just how corporations are preparing for that expiration date? Well, MarketWatch had a story recently saying that corporate borrowing is up uh, simply because um, companies expect more volatility getting into the uh, the home stretch of the election later this year, and then who knows what's going to happen after November. But important to point out here: um, first of all, interest rates are high. This is not a this is not a great time to borrow. And most analysts, including people we have on, I think literally every day, think we're probably close to the peak for interest rates. So there, it would make sense to hold off if you can on borrowing and see if rates don't come down. Um, and the other thing is the, the corporate, the, the taxes that expire at the end of 2025 uh, are individual tax cuts that went into effect in 2018. The corporate tax cuts that were part of that deal uh, are permanent. Um, now, the concern is that as part of a negotiation, if Biden wins a second term as part of negotiations, Biden might try to negotiate a higher corporate tax rate um, so you have to anticipate that. But listen, that, it's very hard to play a uh, an election one way or the other. Uh, and I think you, you're you going to see a lot of companies just basically waiting, trying to do what might seem prudent, but just wait and see what happened and not try to play a Biden win or a Trump win.